and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm attending a state funeral for fourth Republican president Rupia Banda uh, at the showgrounds here in Lusaka. Now, this state funeral is being attended by nine, nine presidents and uh, many international dignitaries. So, do me a favor, if you are new on my channel, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. So here, at the showground, that's where the procession will be, the funeral, and the report viewing only for VIPs. So, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's all I eat. Here we go. Now, I want you to see how empty uh, this main arena or this stadium in the showground looks like. Look, empty. Why? Because it was not meant for so many people. It is strictly by card. But I made sure for you guys, for your sake, for my views, for my viewers, my subscribers, you, I decided to get crash for your sake and give you uh, this uh, production specifically done by Travotainment. Now, very quickly, among the delegates who came, about uh, roughly about nine presidents that I counted, not because the media told me according to what I heard when they were being announced. Let me just give you a breakdown of some of the presidents that were available. Of course, the host president, Hakainde Hichilema. Then we had president of Namibia. Uh, President Genko, um, we also had Zimbabwean President uh, Emerson Munangagwa, uh, there was also Angolan, okay, Angola was represented by the Minister of External Affairs, then we have the former President of Tanzania, who is my favorite, Mr. Jakaya Mwisho Kikwete, Malawi was represented by former president Bakiri Muluzi. Uh, Mozambique was represented by former president Joaquim Mushisano. Zimbabwe, okay, of course, Zimbabwe was by Munangagwa. Yeah, so these are, are among the many ones. Others just use the ambassadors to represent them. Among them was also the African Union commissioner 
And of course, not forget the immediate past president of Zambia, President Edgar Chagwalungu, was also present with his wife. Now, let me also briefly just tell you about the fourth Republican president, uh, Rupia Bwezani Banda, who was born uh, in February of 1937 and passed on on the 11th of March 2022. So, in short, he was 85 years of, of age. So, he has died at 85. In my opinion, this was a still a good old age. He fought a good fight of faith, or he did his part. So many people may not know a lot about President Rupia Banda. People thought that just because he was president, this man had done a lot of work. By the way, that is his son. This is the picture of his son. Look at him. He already looks old. Now, what about the father who has just passed on? So, uh, this man worked as an ambassador. So, uh, in, in, in the, he was once U.S. ambassador to Zambia. So, he, he worked in the Washington office. So, remember, in 2006, Rupia Bwezan Banda was also president, vice president. Before he became president, he was actually vice president of the Republic of Zambia. This man was also minister. He was member of parliament for Munari constituents. He did the secondary school also. Okay, for now, let me break and show you the border viewing. It is being led by... His Excellency President Hakainde Hichilema, as you can see, that's him with his wife. Then I'll tell you a few presidents I'll be able to recognize. Uh, some others, don't mind, I've already mentioned their name. You can see the scarf there. That is uh, President Emerson Munangagwa of um, Zimbabwe. Who else? As they are coming in. So these are presidents. Remember, board viewing was only done by VVIP, the very VIPs, which are presidents or government representatives or leaders of the international organizations. I can see there former Tanzanian president Jakaya Mwisho Kikwete. I'm sure you can see that man in light in complexion. Lieutenant General Ian Nkama, former president of Botswana. I can see President Genko from um, Namibia. And also, finally, I can also see, if you see this tall man here, there is our former president, 6th Republican president, President Edgar Chagwalungu. Guys, I tried by all means to make sure that he... At least I give you some details. So this was the body viewing. They are viewing this great man uh, who died. So like I said, this man worked and he did a lot of things. He was once foreign affairs minister. He was once Lusaka district governor. He was ambassador to Egypt. Um... Yeah, so he was also Minister of Foreign Affairs in the year 1975 to 1976. He was member of parliament for Munari constituency. Um, that is a, a very rich history. He became vice president, later became president until 2011. So we are talking about a statesman. He is not a stranger in this country, no wonder. Uh, this day was was uh, set aside to celebrate his life, and I came in to just give you that content. So today has been the state funeral. Tomorrow at the presidential burial site, that is where his burial will take place, opposite the cabinet office where other foreign presidents have been buried, like President Kaunda. 
uh, President Michael Sata, and of course, President Frederick Chiruba. So that is me. This is travotainment for your information so that you don't say I just uh, copied and pasted a video. I actually shot the video myself. So these are the guns which made an explosion when they were coming out. So these are the land cruisers which are carrying these guns. So these are the gunners, the people who are blowing these extremely loud guns. Um, they are known as the cannon. So these are the cannons for the Zambia army. So these were the guys who were blowing them. So they are going tomorrow. They'll be at the presidential burial site. So this statesman known as Rupia Banda was a very, very strong soccer fan. So you can see he's been honored with a jazz also by the Football Association of Zambia. He was an ardent soccer fan. So this is the tribute to him. May his soul rest in peace. As I wind up my video, guys, support me. I have a target to reach a hundred thousand subscribers by December 2022. And so, guys, thank you so much for watching the funeral procession. Barrio takes place tomorrow at the presidential barrier site opposite the cabinet office, strictly by invitation. Guys, I, I sneaked, I actually get crashed into this function, guys. So do me a favor, if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe. Turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. So, from the showgrounds here in Lusaka on a rainy day, thank you so much for staying with me as we do the send off to our former president, fourth president, Rupia Banda, whose state funeral just took place. Thank you so much, guys. Peace.